Today I rewire a PC fan to produce energy rather than to require it. I started by peeling back the sticker on this PC fan, exposing the O-ring that holds the fan into place. Pulling the O-ring off with some pliers drops the fan right out of the housing. Now I did bust this housing up quite a bit by using this screwdriver here to try to get that board out, so we'll just use the board in this one and I'll make another one in a minute. Now as you can see the copper coils there, it has one piece of copper going to the prong into the board. There is one prong that has two pieces of copper going to it, that's not the one that we used. There are two with one piece of copper going to it from the copper coils. That's what we're going to use. And we're going to solder to the solder points on the back of the board here, rewiring these wires here to the solder points where the prongs are for the copper coils. It might sound confusing, but just watch. I'll, I'll show you. So let's remove those and the ones with the one wire of copper going to the prong. There are two. We're going to solder. Does not matter power or ground. We're going to solder those to it. Then we're going to take this LED here. Now the LED has been extended using wire just so that it can reach from the prongs there. And we're just going to twist it. Like I said, this one is just test because I did bust the housing. But we're going to go ahead and twist this in here to test it to see if we do get any type of electricity or energy off of this fan here. And there's the finished product, so to speak. And let's go ahead and put the fan back into the circuit board there. I'll kind of cup it in my hand here so we can see everything. And go ahead and give the fan a quick spin and you can see that it clearly does have energy. And we do light that LED, it does spark for us. And here it is with the lights out. The faster you spin it, the brighter and more consistent the light will be. So now I want to make one with the housing still intact. I have pulled the board out successfully and we're going to find our coils with the one piece of copper going to the prongs. And we're going to solder our wires to those. Again, power and ground does not matter. Let's go ahead and mount the board back into the fan housing and pop this back in. A nail got it out and a nail will get it back in, but it does take some force, so I'll hit that back in there. And then we're going to place our fan back into the housing. Give it a spin to make sure you didn't jolt anything. All right, and place our wires back in so that it looks just like it did when we took this thing apart. Here's another LED that we're going to wire into here. Now I'll shorten the wire so that everything can be shown in the same shot here, but it's pretty much the same thing. Power and ground does not matter. And there it is, so you can see it. it. Looks just like a PC fan. No batteries, anything like that. We just have an alternator type device. We've rewired the board. And give it a quick spin, and you can see we have energy at the light. And like I said, the faster you spin this thing, the more consistent and more bright the light gets. I'll show you a few times there. Go ahead and turn the lights off and let's spin this thing. I will spin it a few times because I'm quite fascinated with it. And like I said, the faster you spin this thing, the brighter the light gets. And you can see that really clearly with the lights off. That one got quite bright. And there we have it. PC fan experiment. Turning it into an alternator and powering an LED. That's pretty much it.